Hey guys, how are you doing today? Welcome back to the channel. We have another Switch eShop game to check out. A little bit of a lesser unknown title. That's what I like to do. I like to play games nobody else is talking about because why not? Anyways, we're playing Top Run today. Not Top Gun. We're not riding straight into the danger zone. But we're playing Top Run. So let's go ahead and begin this game. Looks pretty cool, right? Has a little 1980s vibe to it. You know, look at this. Put my little floppy disk and suck into the video game. Captain M style. And let's begin. Oh my gosh, there's an alien right away. Ooh. All right, here we go. We are running. Meet Kevin and his dog, Buddy. Push A. All right. Push B to jump. Okay. So it's a, it's an endless runner, which is pretty, pretty generic. Okay. So B, B to run, B to jump. Y to jump down. We have a weapon. We have a double jump. All right. Everything works. It's good to go. You'll meet different enemies. Watch your floppies. Some will even shoot at you. Okay. I got your floppy here, buddy. Alright, so we gotta avoid their bullets. Step A. Don't get hit. Right? I like how the they're big muscle men and big bullies and jazzercise ladies. Fast Omar. Commander 64. Good. Oh look, we got a dash. Run through him to dash forward. That's cool. Dash into enemies to kill him. Nice. So there is a dash in this one at least. Oh, what's this? A power up. Okay, we're gonna grab the power up. Buddy shield. Oh, nice. Okay, I'm digging the music. Good boy. Run through caves to save a friend. So it's pretty standard so far on the uh, tutorial. Like Can't wait till we get to the oh, I like that Rick Ashley reference. So friend superpowers, supersonic rolling dude, that's cool. All right, that was the tutorial. Let's begin the real game. Meet Cindy. Cindy, what up, girl? Watch your floppies. Meet Hammer. So Cindy, Hammer. Whoa. One hit deaths. Did not know that. We did all right though. Check that out. Complete the tutorial. Play two games. So let's restart. So there's, there's objectives. That's nice. There's high scores. There's objectives. I could stand behind this. I definitely like the animation of, of the main character. And it's cute that he has a dog. So here we go. We gotta collect. Oh my gosh. I didn't even see that, dude. Alright, so we get XP, which I'm wondering what that goes towards. Or maybe there's like upgrades and stuff that you can buy to power up your character. No, I no idea. I know that there's a ever list ever changing. Oh look! Oh, I double jumped too high. Jesus Christ! I'm not that bad at video games. <laughs> now runners like this definitely do take some getting used to. Um, I'm trying to do my best. I saw the hoverboard and I was like, oh, I want to get that. I need to remember tapping the jump button. Oh, I missed that power up. Did you see that power up? There was a power up. So. There is a double jump. I need to remember that. Oh. There's a biker, dude. Oh, man. I missed that. I missed my, uh, my friend. Meet Matt. Meet Hack. Oh, floor is lava. Holy cow. That's different. That was brand new. Whew. Thank you. Oh, look at that. Oh, there we go. Joy. 
Let's use her friend power up. Let's see what she got. Telekinetic. Okay, that was pretty cool. Alright. Oh, wow, look, we're cruising on the wire. Oh, now we have Cyber Ghost. Buddy time. Oh my gosh. What? Oh man, so much random stuff in this game. Honestly, this is actually really cool. This is like leaps and bounds better than I thought. The game. Oh look, a little DeLorean or was that Knight Rider? This is leaps and bounds better than I thought the game would be. If I'm going to be completely utter utterly honest. I didn't remember that Y is to, to jump down. I forget about that. All right, so we're gonna wait for this screen to fill full of enemies. There we go. We're gonna use his body power. Mighty fighting fire shooting glove. Nice, very nice. Meet anti Kevin. Okay, so it's like a doppelganger. Or... Oh, I just got shot. That was a good run right there. Look at that. New high score. Pixels collected. Oh, look at that. Level up. New item for your home. So there is like a home or something, like an apartment that you can customize. Let's give it another run and then we'll look at some other stuff. All right. I'm I'm actually highly entertained with this game. It's it's not just like a boring, bland, endless runner that has like cut and paste graphics or anything like that. There's, there's a lot of funny personality and charm and je ne sais quoi. To, uh, to this game, the characters, like the enemy. Look at that, even the background had references to like Lethal Weapon and stuff like that. But it seems like the characters have a lot of personality and stuff, especially the enemies. There's references to stuff that I can appreciate. The music's pretty legit, if you ask me. Um, go to Storm of Power Ups, gameplay mechanics are popping up. Um, I can appreciate it, you know? Not a run of the mill game. It's not a video game that's here today, gone tomorrow. All right, so here we go. Look at this. I mean, look at that background. You got like a dog and <laughs> like a sunset and just all around total like 80s goodness. Like who who would not appreciate appreciate this game? Okay, so we made it 700 meters. I don't know if that's my newest score. Okay, so we're going to just keep at it. Ooh, I wish I got in that. Ah, oh, so much action! <laughs> I was like, what? All right, so I believe we just got another power. So let's go to the main menu and see what our apartment does. So there's apartment, there's skins, there's upgrades. So apartment. Welcome to your apartment. It's a bit empty now. You're filled up with cool stuff. All right. So we got a couch now. Oh, look at that. We got a little mini game upstairs. Are we able to? Are we able to play that? Cyber Vaders. I think we have a mini game that we can play. Oh my gosh. Yeah, Space Invaders. Pretty much. But that's that's neat. A little mini game. They didn't have to to throw that in there. We'll put my initials. We'll put eight. Oh man, <laughs> I fucked. I screwed that up. All right, so we'll quit that. We'll go back to the other thing. So skins. Oh look, there's skins that you can purchase with pixel points. Different pugs, corgis, shibis, anti-banana. Oh look at that, Kung Fury reference. <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> he Kevin. Okay, this Maverick. Okay, this Thriller. This game sold me. So many reference here. Oh my gosh, Ghostbusters, Indiana Jones, Team Wolf. Okay. Okay, look at this. If you're an 80s guy, you're gonna love all the references that are that are in this game. Let's look at the upgrades. See what we can get. So we got power up upgrades, pixel upgrades. So. I think number one pixel upgrade we need to get is um, the, the floppies. We need to get floppy durations. Okay, so there we go. So there's definitely a lot of different stuff. 
stats, options. So we're gonna give it another look see, right? One more good run, let's see what we can do here. It looks like some modes are unlocked once you reach level eight and six and 12. So that's good. Lots of unlockables, I dig that. All right, so here we go. Just got some upgrades going on. Let's see how long we last. That's the key. So just keep playing the game, plugging away, upgrading your character, getting the power-ups better. And the better that you do, the, the better your runs will be. You know what I mean? So definitely a lot of replay value in this game. Again, lots of the 80 references, the 80s references got me. Um, I think they were all like amazing. Like I was like, wow, you know, some of those skins and those outfits and stuff just totally brought me back, made me think of, wow, you know, like I never would have thought of seeing like a game make so many references. Kind of like a love letter to, uh, to 80s. Here you go, mind blown telekinetic blast. So that worked. Right, not so bad. Not bad, not bad. There we go, triple floppy. You guys remember floppies? Like those aren't around anymore. I remember I used to have an Apple II computer that had like Gauntlet and a few other games on floppy. Those were the days, man. It used to be so loud. Now we just got games like like this on our Nintendo Switches that we can just play instantly. You know, this is an example of a, of a game that, that flew under the radar for me. I know I say that a lot, but that's mostly because so much stuff comes out on the Switch eShop that it's like, you never know what you're going to miss out on. And this is something that I think is pretty neat. So I'm going to end it on that note, guys. This was Top Run. If you like the 80s and you like games like this, this is don't let it fool you. This is not your standard um, endless runner. This has a lot of 80s references, a lot of replay value, unlockables and stuff. I actually think this is totally worth a look, guys. So check it out. Thanks a lot for watching. If this was your first time on the channel, consider subscribing. Don't forget to leave a like or a comment or dislike. I'll see you in the next one, guys. Peace out. Consider supporting 8-Bit Eric on Patreon for just a dollar a month. Link below in the description. You want to become part of the hashtag 8BE Nation, guys? Well, be sure to pick up your official merch now available online. Link is below in the description. We got classic t-shirts, tank tops, hoodies, and even women's apparel. Don't forget, pick up your official merch now. And while you're at it, guys, feel free to watch the next video or why don't you catch up on one that you might have previously missed. Thanks again, guys, for all the support. I couldn't do this without you. You guys are amazing. And don't forget to subscribe and click that like button if you are brand new. Thanks again, guys. Peace out.